Thanks for checking out our dash cam video install guide for 2000 through 06 GM trucks and SUVs. To ensure you order the correct color, locate your trim code on the sticker inside your glove box and compare it with our trim code guide. If your code is 92, please contact us so we can ensure you order the correct color. GM made two different colors for that same trim code. On this model, the front lip is designed to tuck behind the bezel. So carefully pop the bezel out. You do not have to completely remove it. Just give yourself a small amount of space to easily slide the lip behind the bezel. Next, let's thoroughly clean the original dash with the degreaser. Do not use alcohol. Make sure to clean it extremely well to remove any old interior shine products such as armor all or dust and grime. Also removing any debris or dash chips, giving yourself a clean surface to adhere to. To remove the grab handle, take a flathead screwdriver and remove both AC vents. Now in the top corner closest to the handle, there are little white tabs. Simply push in the tabs and pull out on the handle. An important note, make sure to put the AC vents back in place before installing the cover. Next, let's dry fit the cover and look for any raised areas so we know where to add any extra weights or prop rods after the cover is installed with silicone. To prevent any future rattles from the original dash, we recommend using silicone to seal up any cracks in the dash and outline any holes. Next, place your cover on a soft surface to avoid scratching it and apply the silicone to the underside of the cover in the same pattern illustrated in your install guide. Now we're ready to install. Carefully bend the cover and set in place over the original dash. And remember the places that were elevated during the dry fit so you can apply extra weights or prop rods to those areas. Once the cover is installed, we can push the bezel back into place and reinstall the grab handle. The orientation is very important. The shape of the grab handle is asymmetrical and is very noticeable when installed upside down. When properly oriented, there will be a few audible clicks and the handle will set flush with the cover. Since we can't get weights up by the windshield, we'll use rolled up rags and shove them between the dash and the windshield. Place weights evenly across the skin to hold it nice and flush against the dash. Look for any raised edges and be sure to apply weights or prop rods in these spots to hold them securely against the dash until the silicone is totally cured. Being thorough with this step is crucial in achieving the stealthiest finished product. Next, we'll apply the prop rods to the front vertical portions of the dash. Alternatively, you can cut to length either a piece of PVC or wood and just place a rag on each end of it. With the front windows rolled down, pinch pieces of foam or rag between the door and the dash cover. 